What's up guys and welcome to this new video. Today we are going to react to Wasp, one of my favorite bands from 80s. It wasn't love between me and Wasp because when I was younger I didn't know too much of these bands. So the only song that I knew at the time was Wild Child, like uh, everyone I guess. And I remember that once they went uh, here, near where I live, to play a headliner show and they were supported by Kiko Kalesin, a Norwegian black metal band from Norway, a Cataclysm, and another band that I actually don't remember the name. So I wanted to go there badly, not for Wasp, but for Keep of Kalesin, because at the time Keep of Kalesin was one of my top bands ever. So what I did, I took my friend, we went there with my car, we didn't know actually where is the place, there wasn't internet at the time with uh, in the phone, so we had to use my fucking stupid navigator, we always call it, and uh, didn't work well, so we lost ourselves. I don't, I don't even remember how much time. And finally, we found the place, and uh, it was 3 p.m. The concert, I mean, the Wasp was playing at uh, 11 p.m. But it was something strange because I wasn't sure if uh, Keep of Kalesian and Cataclysm will was played with them because. And the next days, they will have played in another show, and uh, those bands wasn't weren't in the list. So I asked the guy, and this guy said, "Oh, no, I'm sorry. Tonight just was play." You can't imagine my disappointment at the time, since I went there for another band that I didn't know anything basically about Wasp. So I was like, uh, "Fuck it! I will not wait until 11 to see a band that I don't like." like that I didn't know anything about. So what we did, we just left the place and we came home. You can't understand my disappointment and my hate, hate to myself when some years later I started to love so much this band and uh, I started to going into their music so much. Actually I guess that Wasp are my favorite 80s metal band ever. So today I wanted to do this reaction video of uh, this song, The Idol. It's, uh, I think, one of the best songs from Wasp. And uh, actually it's so hard to find some bad songs of Wasp because they never released bad songs. Actually, uh, you know, the band from 80s usually do release the be their best stuff in 80s and uh, the modern stuff sucks. Not because the music are bad, but because it doesn't sound like the 80s music that they did. So it's a completely different band and uh, usually fans doesn't appreciate that too much, like me. With Wasp is different because they released an album, Golgotha, that blown my mind. The solos in that album are crazy. It doesn't matter if Blackie started to believe in Jesus and he started to do those uh, lyrics about Jesus Christ, etc. And they will never understand how every rocker, every metalhead, famous metalhead started to believe in Jesus after they stopped to use drugs. They immediately start to see Jesus everywhere. Uh, okay, but uh, who cares? The important is the music, right? So like I said, today we are going to react to Crimson Idol, the album that came out in 1992. It wasn't the best period from Wasp because uh, the legendary guitarist Chris Holmes left the band and basically left uh, Blackie alone and uh, he didn't want it to release that album uh, under the name of Wasp but uh, he wanted to do a solo album. The problem with uh, fans and uh, his label they were pushing him too much to release this album as a Wasp. So he, what he did, he hired new guys for the band and he released one of the or the best maybe album from Wasp out there. <coughs> so guys, that's all for this intro and uh, let's go direct to this song. Oh, just visually, just visually, how beautiful is this? I mean, have you ever seen a um, music video today made like this? I mean, the only, the only music videos that I really like today, is, they are not stupid, it's, uh, they're really enjoyable to watch, are the ghost, uh, the ghost uh, videos. Because they remind me so much from the 80s and they are so well done that uh, actually they are not boring to watch. 
like the majority of the older videos that's usually it's just the band playing the song in a black room or white room and uh, just annoying <laughs> The guitar sound is so beautiful. If I could only stand, stare in the epic, just epic. How beautiful was the BC Rich? Everyone in the 80s, if you were playing uh, trash metal, uh, hair metal, or black metal, or whatever you were playing, were played with BC Rich. I love BC Rich, really. I'm so sad that today nobody play anymore with BC Rich, and it's always, it will have, always have been my dream to have one of those guitar, and uh, I hope that in future I will have. I really, it's uh, it's it's the best guitar ever. I mean. Maybe not with with the sound and everything, but when you look at it, it's so beautiful. I can't, I can't, I mean, did you ever felt something like uh, sadness for something that you never experience? Like, for example, I feel sad every time I'm watching a 80s movie or a, a 80s band, even if I'd never really experienced that because I never uh, lived that time, but uh, I, exp I kind of felt it, you know, uh, you watch it and you just fucking desire that you were born at the time where movies were great, where music were great, where the where was there wasn't such dramas like two days, it's crazy and uh, uh this video is so amazing, it's so 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 beautiful, so good. Where actually also the drummer were cool to watch because even if I'm in extreme metal I'm playing black metal, but uh, watching those hair metal drummers instead of uh, extreme metal drummers is much more, I don't know, epic? Fun? This guitarist here did an awesome job on this album. I was really concerned knowing that uh, there wasn't uh, Chris Holmes in this album because uh, his solos were really amazing. They were the sound of Wasp. But this guitarist here did a really awesome job too. The sound is completely Wasp and this solo is amazing. I'm just sorry that the video is just four minutes because the song is around uh, eight minutes or six minutes without the intro. And uh, the final part of the solo were amazing in the long version. Unfortunately, they cut it. I tried to find if there was a longer video, but unfortunately not. So if uh, your first time that you watch Wasp, go and check in the full song.
it's a totally different style for me because uh, like I said I'm in a black metal scene and they're a hair metal but probably if uh, black metal wasn't my favorite genre probably I would have been like them and I don't see if I will have fit well with this kind of hair but uh, I fucking love this style I mean if nobody wear stuff like this today but uh, I'm fucking crazy about this stuff There's people probably who don't like this kind of music, they they can say Oh yes, but uh, you know, there's just a power chord, a couple of notes, everybody everybody can do that Like uh, a majority of people think about a black metal Yeah, it's two chords, that's right, it's maybe uh, not that much uh, uh, notes for the solo But uh, try to do that, I mean it's not easy, it's not easy to find those two free riffs that sound really good and uh, build uh, impressive song like this of those two riffs because you can find those two riffs but you can have to build something like this like keyboards like the chorus like the voices like uh, everything and uh, trust me it's much more harder to do that instead of playing just fast and brutal Fuck you, YouTube. Why the video is so short? Fortunately, stopped just in the best part. Ah, oh. when the music actually were good, let's say. What I really like for those band from those band from '80s is the sound. They doesn't sound maybe uh, clear. They doesn't sound maybe so perfect like today's, but they were so real. What you listen there, what were what they recorded. Today is much more easier to record stuff even take your instrument. For example, it's maybe because we are living in a digital era, I don't know, but uh, I really miss those uh, album sounds, they're really good. And if I will have ever released an album that sounds like a hair metal album, I will never use, for example, triggers or I have a those uh, clean, super clean production, but I will actually try it to do something like that, that uh, will not sound like uh, them, totally 80s, let's say. So guys, saying that, this is all for this video, I hope you enjoy it, if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe and leave a comment, it's important, and uh, like always, uh, see you in the next video, cheers!